Hello guys, welcome back to another SpaceX update video. The latest update on the FAA licensing review process for Starship indicates that environmental concerns are the primary reason the license is on hold. This could delay Starship's second flight until December or early next year, as the US Fish and Wildlife Service may need up to 150 days to make a decision. This is disappointing news, as delaying Starship will have a negative impact on NASA and humanity in the long run. Starship is essential for NASA's Artemis program to return humans to the moon, and it also has the potential to revolutionize space travel by making it more affordable and accessible. SpaceX is suing the U.S. government over the appointment process of administrative judges who hear employment bias cases involving immigrants. SpaceX claims that this process is unconstitutional because it denies them a fair trial. The lawsuit comes after the DOJ accused SpaceX of refusing to hire refugees and asylees between 2018 and 2022. SpaceX denies these allegations, saying that they have hired hundreds of non-US citizens. However, they also acknowledge that some of their projects have national security implications and that they could face steep fines for employing foreign workers. SpaceX is arguing that the DOJ's administrative judges are not properly appointed and that their cases should be heard in a federal court, where they would have a right to a jury trial. Booster 10 completed its latest round of testing and has been rolled back to the production site from Massey's. Despite the delay of the second Starship launch, SpaceX never stops testing and building new rockets. A few hours ago, SpaceX completed its 66th launch of the year by launching Starship Group 6-17 mission. This was another important milestone for SpaceX, as it marked the first time that a Falcon 9 booster has flown and landed 17 times. B-1060 is a workhorse and now the fleet leader with the most number of launches. Stage one landing confirmed. This is a testament to the reliability and reusability of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. Rocket Lab's 41st Electron mission and 9th of the year on Tuesday, September 19 ended in failure. The mission was going smoothly without any issue until the second stage faced an anomaly shortly after stage separation. The mission named We Will Never Desert You was carrying Capella Space's second Acadia satellite. The live video feed of the rocket stopped working shortly after the second stage ignited its engine. Around 45 seconds successful. after stage separation, the launch director declared, All stations, we have experienced an anomaly. And all stations, I just, uh, we have experienced an anomaly. Um, please remain on station and we will investigate and action the anomaly plan. Rocket Lab said it is working with the FAA to investigate the cause of the failure. This is the fourth mission failure overall for Rocket Lab, and the first since May 2021. Rocket Lab's next mission is delayed while the company implements corrective actions. The failure is a setback for both Rocket Lab and Capella Space. It is not yet clear what impact the failure will have on Rocket Lab's business or Capella Space's plans. However, this failure is a reminder of the challenges of spaceflight and the importance of safety. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one with more updates.